Hi everybody, uh, Keith Burrito here. Welcome to another edition of my video blog. I'm uptown here on Wednesday. Um, it's almost December. Uh, so first of all, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from everybody at Historica. Uh, we hope you guys really enjoy the holiday season. What we wanted to do is we wanted to give you a little glimpse on what we're doing here. Uh, fortunately, we have the Italian by Night and the Five and Dime Pub uh, that will be opening later this week. We're working really hard. We've been working incredibly hard for the last year or so. I'm sure a lot of you are aware with what you've uh, been seeing and all the activity on the street. Great things continue to happen uptown and right now we're working towards occupying and opening up the Italian by Night in the Five and Dime Pub. Uh, over the next couple months, we will continue working on places like Yuck Yucks, uh, Judith's, uh, Judith Mackin's interior design studio, as well as a new cafe that you're gonna hear a lot more about over the next couple months. And then we have eight high quality residential on the upper two floors. Uh, they're gonna be second to none, and we're already leasing those, so if there's anybody out there who wants to move uptown and wants to live life uptown, uh, reach out to me or reach out to the office and we'll make sure we take good care of you guys. All right, so we just want to show you a couple of the spots. Let's go. So here we are, we're on Granin Street and I'm in front of the Five and Dime, which is the new vinyl record pub in Uptown St. John, hopefully opening this Friday, but let's give you a little glimpse of the Five and Dime. Ready. So here we are, we're in the Five and Dime pub. Uh, Jody and Brian are just working on the finishing touches here. Uh, it's going to be a really neat spot. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a place as cool as this. Uh, they're going to have vinyl records, so if you have a nice collection, feel free to bring your records along with you when you grab a beer. Uh, so we're downstairs underneath the Italian by Night in the old Bustons building. This used to be a showroom with lots of furniture from the Bustons family. And it really has some incredible decor, a really nice stone backdrop, and a lot of grittiness uh, that kind of St. John is really kind of known for, being an industrial city. And this space uh, has a touch of class all the way around it, a lot of custom pieces. These guys really paid attention to the detail here. And it's going to be something that I don't think you'll be able to find anywhere in Atlantic Canada and I think you guys are really going to have to check it out. So we're hoping they're going to be open in the next few days, um, hopefully uh, early December. So here we are, we're on the inside of Bustons in the basement level. Uh, there's a few interesting details that I wanted to make sure everybody was aware of with this project. Uh, we spent a lot of time just trying to make sure that the design was as good as it could possibly be for the next 140 years of the life of this building being 140 years old. We want to see it uh, continue on for another 140 years, we'll say. So on the inside of this building, the great thing here is the interconnectedness of the building and of all the different tenants and the ability to move from one tenant to another without going outside. So we just left the Five and Dime pub which is over here. You can give them a little glimpse of that. And if you come back this way, we have Yuck Yucks Comedy Club right through there. So that's really convenient. We also have the Italian by Night upstairs. And you can take this stairwell and get to the Italian by Night. Uh, we're just putting the finishing touches on, as we were saying earlier. And then we have a residential on the top two floors. So what you can do is you can have a high quality Italian meal at Italian by Night. You can go catch a comedy show at Yuck Yucks here in the next month or so. And then you can go grab a couple pints of beer at the Five and Dime Pub. And then if you want to stay upstairs and get a good night's sleep, you can also live upstairs. And then the next morning we also have a cafe that's going to be introduced here over the next month or two. Uh, they're playing around with all kinds of interesting ideas on this kind of European style cafe that we're going to be having and announcing here shortly. And then we have Judith Mackin's interior design studio, um, also not too far away, also connected on the inside of the building. So it's something really neat, really interesting, and really convenient for anybody uh, that doesn't want to leave the building. They can spend their whole night here in this one build building alone and have a great evening. Uh, and kind of uh, enjoy living life uptown. 
So here we are, we're in Italian by Nice, and they're working really hard on the finishing touches. It's a little bit uh, chaotic here, uh, a lot of things happening at once. They're finishing the setup of their kitchen. They got this really nice bar that they're setting up as well, that was custom built for the space. And they're really just getting the whole kitchen operation and the back end uh, put in place. And the kitchen here is one of a kind, it's probably the best kitchen I would say in a restaurant I've ever seen. And the decor here uh, is pretty much second to none. You know, we have other good quality tenants that are very similar in look and feel. Um, but the old beams and the brick walls and the high ceilings and the character that St. John has so much of uh, is really kind of shining bright in this space. And it's something truly special that I think everybody should get out and try uh, because it truly is something special. I looked at the menu earlier. Uh, as usual, the food that Michelle provides and cooks uh, is really top notch and I'm not sure you can find much better anywhere else uh, in Atlantic Canada for sure and probably the rest of the country. Top notch Italian food. It's going to be here on Germain Street in the old Buston space and they even have this private lounge. It's called the Buston's Lounge. At least that's what we're calling it because it has a nice Buston sign to pay homage to the Buston's family because this used to be the showroom. Uh, for I think over a hundred years. So anyway, a little glimpse of the Italian by night. Make sure you check it out and uh, I'm sure you guys will be quite impressed. Alright, so here we are, top floor of the Bustons building. Uh, never looked like this but a year ago. Uh, it's quite a bit different. It was used as storage. It used to be more of a furniture storage for the Bustons uh, business. Um, here I am standing in the living room uh, with an open concept kitchen area that Obviously you can't see yet because it's not installed. We're working on finishing this building. Uh, hopefully it would be done in about two to three months. Uh, this is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. And there's a loft here where we're gonna have a nice uh, metal and glass railing. Um, we have 17 foot ceilings, which are really something special. And we're gonna be installing uh, skylights in the loft bedroom. Like I said, there's two and a half bathrooms, so you get a guest washroom, uh, so your friends and guests don't have to use your personal washroom. And then you have a couple other bedrooms here on the side with an ensuite bathroom in the middle, and then the loft also has a bathroom. So it's something really neat. I want to make sure people get a little glimpse of this before we finish it because usually everybody sees the finished product. Nice to see them before they're finished, kind of halfway through. They will be ready in the next couple months, and if you're interested, uh, we still have some left. Uh, we're also going to have a rooftop patio here with some of the best views that you'll find in the city and probably anywhere in New Brunswick, uh, which is really special. Harbor View, you can see the city on the other side, uh, the Harbor Bridge, and probably a great spot to watch fireworks uh, on Canada Day weekend, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's eight apartments in this building, four on the second floor, four on the third, and once they're gone, they're gone. So uh, if you're thinking about moving uptown and you like what we're offering, you like historic and you like the quality we offer, make sure you reach out to us and we'll give you one of these amazing, incredible living spaces. And you can really live one of the best lifestyles that you'll ever live here in Uptown St. John. It doesn't get much better than this. Anyway, enjoy yourselves. Thanks for listening. And we'll give you another update once we're finished. But I highly recommend that you try the Italian by Night in the Five and Dime Pub over the next couple weeks or over the holiday season. Take care and all the best. Thank you.